Well, it's coming up on 8.30. Ever get to the airport security and realize you're not going to make it through without leaving something behind? Well, parting ways with your pocket knife was on track to become a thing of the past until yesterday when the TSA pulled its proposal to remove it from the banned list of carry-ons. Let's now go live to Fox 17's Megan O'Halloran from the Nashville International Airport to see how passengers feel about all of this. Megan. Well, Nick, you won't be making it very far with this in your pocket. The ban on knives has been in place for quite some time for obvious safety reasons. But recently, the TSA tried to get knives and other items like baseball bats and golf clubs off the banned list of carry-ons. It was an unsuccessful attempt because after taking heat from airlines, lawmakers, labor unions, and police officers, they were all against this. So the TSA backed off its proposal after seeing how much controversy the plan created. Now, we were sharing this news with passengers here this morning, and a lot of them naturally had mixed feelings about all of this, although many said they didn't feel like their safety would be threatened if passengers were allowed to start carrying knives on board. Some still, though, say that the better safe than sorry approach is the best way to go. If we still have to put our liquids in a bag, I think we should still have to restrict pocket knives and other sharp objects. I think we should be able to have them because... How are we supposed to protect ourselves if something goes wrong? And after all of this talk about banned items like knives, we actually took a, a list, at the full complete list of banned items. And of course, you have your uh, no brainers, things like ammunition, fireworks, explosives, obviously not allowed on your uh, carry-on luggage, but more surprising, we found a list of unusual items that are not allowed on your carry-ons. Get this. Snow globes, not allowed on your carry-on if they're bigger than a certain size, as well as uh, gel candles and gel shoe inserts. So if you uh, happen to be carrying those, you might want to put that in your checked baggage. We're live from the Nashville International Airport. Megan O'Halloran, Fox 17 News.